All right, guys, so today we're gonna to talk about how marketing is the number one thing that matters. In fact, it's when you really get down to it, it's really the only thing that matters. Um, it doesn't matter how good your art or photography is. If nobody is seeing it, then you're not going to make sales, okay? Um, people will see other stuff before they see yours. Like, let's say you're a great like landscape painter or photographer, and if, they, if, if a, a buyer who would have otherwise bought your work happens to see some other work that's really good before they see yours, they're going to fill up that wall space. You lose the sale and the opportunity is lost. So the analogy that I love to give is, is it's like having a restaurant. It's like you're a restaurant owner and you're the chef and you have this amazing menu, right? Your food is amazing. Like the quality of your art is amazing, right? But the restaurant's empty. There's nobody there. And that's all that matters is you got to get people into that restaurant. Otherwise, the restaurant's going to close down. And, the, and so you need to do marketing, right? You need to market to get people to come into your restaurant. And so if you sit there and you change the curtains and you switch the menu around like, oh, maybe I'll change some ingredients. And you switch the, the chairs and the tables and the way that it's organized around. That's essentially the same thing as like tinkering with your website all day long and switching a thing here and there. It doesn't matter. There's nobody in the restaurant. Nobody's there. Nobody's even trying your food. Nobody's trying your website. Nobody's using your website. So it literally doesn't matter. Marketing needs to be done first and you need to focus on it. Okay. Um, and it's one of the things that, you know, you probably, I, if you, if, if you live in a town where a really good restaurant has gone down and you've been like, wow, that place had really good food. I just, I can't believe they couldn't make it. Well, that, that happens all the time here in Austin, Texas. Um, there's a really vibrant, uh, restaurant community. And, you know, just a week ago, I just found out about a restaurant that, uh, closed down and I couldn't, my wife and I couldn't even believe it because the food was, it was a scratch kitchen. I mean, the food was amazing. Everything was good. They just couldn't get it to work. They couldn't get enough customers in clearly. And, and, um, and so the place shut down. Does that mean that the chef is a bad chef? No. Same thing goes with an artist or photographer. Does it mean that you're, if you're struggling um, or you don't have traffic yet, that you're a bad artist or photographer? No, no, not at all. It just means that you got to do more marketing. It's just showing you that what your weakness is, what you're not spending enough time and focus on. And I really hope that this video changes that. Um, marketing is the hidden little secret that all the, the big website platforms don't want you to know about, okay? They all wanna sell you the dream that all you need to do is launch a website. It's never been easier to launch a website and start a business. And so, you know, millions of people have launched these generic websites in every industry. It doesn't matter whether it's art, it, it could be jewelry, it could be, you know, uh, clothing. Um, anybody's launched a website uh, and, and, an, and an e-store and, uh, and, and then they, you know, a year later or two years later, they realize like, whoa, there's a lot more to this than just launching a website, right? Well, that's the, the little hidden secret that nobody wants to talk about. We talk about it. I like to talk about it because it's the truth, right? You don't have a business unless you have a successful marketing strategy, period. The successful marketing strategy is not a trick. It's not a one-time thing. It's the consistent thing that you will do to solve your distribution problem, right? You'll do it for the next 10 years. Once you figure out what is acquiring customers for you and where they are, it could be on Facebook, it could be on Instagram, it could be on both. It could be uh, doing shows in person. Um, and then leveraging that back online. There's, a, there's going to be a system that works for you and you need to figure out what it is. You also have to figure out what your content is and what's gonna resonate with your audience or what audience you wanna go after. So marketing is, it's, it's the biggest thing. And uh, it's funny because the, you know, uh, if you actually look this up, if you look at some of the big online platforms, like for example, Shopify. Shopify is a public company a publicly traded company, they don't publish their cancellation rates and they get hammered for it by stock analysts. You can look it up on Google right now. They, they don't do it. And people speculate that their cancellation rates are like in the 90th, 90 percentile, right? That's the number that fail. Um, I think you can do Google searches for, you know, the, the percentage of people that, that whose businesses fail on Shopify or Squarespace or doesn't matter any platforms. It's all the same, essentially, because if you don't solve the marketing problem, you're going to fail. It's just 
That's it. It's all about marketing. It doesn't matter if you just have a website. Okay. So, um, for the people that actually have gone down that path, um, for many of you that are listening to this right now, you've probably been there. You were like, you launched your website and you ho- you wished it was going to be easier. And then you realize like, wow, this marketing thing, like I'm actually gonna have to do something here to make this happen. And then, you know, so you start reading books and you read blogs and you're looking for tactics and you try a few things and they don't really work. And one thing might work a little bit here or there, but you know, then you start thinking, oh gosh, am I really gonna do this? Okay, well, maybe I can find somebody to do it for me. If I had a penny for how many artists and photographers talk to people at our company every day that said, Hey, can you just do the marketing for me? Hey, can I just pay someone to do the marketing for me? Like I'll do a partnership and we'll share. Never happens. Doesn't happen with the successful people either. So just forget that. Doesn't work. Okay. Nobody's going to do it. Um, that's actually worth their salt that can actually make anything happen. Um, and you know, feel free to give it a try. What will work one day when you're really successful is actually hiring a full-time marketer. So when you realize that that's not going to work, then you start looking into hiring consultants right? And you realize that a good or a decent marketing consultant is going to be a hundred to $200 an hour. All right. And you, for a couple thousand dollars, you might get them to do a small SEO project for a weekend, right? And that's one weekend or one week of work. What are you going to do for the next three years or five years and the next six months even? So there's no way that you can afford that. So marketing consultants are extremely expensive. And obviously you're not at the place where you actually are ready to hire a full-time marketer yourself because that would be even more expensive. So you're kind of left with doing it yourself. Um, and, uh, but that's the only problem that you have to solve. You have to solve this problem. What the normal course of things is an artist or photographer or just a small business owner, doesn't matter if it's in this industry or not, the, 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 uh, the situation is still the same. You do your own marketing, you learn about your market and your customers and how to sell your product and what's resonating with people and what venues it's selling at and how to make that work. What's the, the language that, that you need to do? What's your style? What's your, you know, um, like what's your, like h- how do you talk about your art and all of that? And then after that, after you've made some success of it, then you hire probably a part-time assistant, you know, or, a, or so a, a marketing consultant to actually do some stuff for you, right? And so you take it a few steps further and that's when you kind of step back and you're not doing as much of that. And then when you get to that next level of success, you'll probably have somebody working for you full-time and, uh, and they're, you know, a really solid marketer. So those are the steps that you're going to take you know, in your career, whether it's this business or any other business, nobody can avoid that, right? As an entrepreneur. So that's the way it's going to go. And, and uh, if you don't solve the marketing problem, it's going to forever haunt you. It's not going away. You, it's just not going to just magically, you know, fish aren't just going to jump into your boat magically. Like this marketing thing is going to continue to haunt you. So, okay. So we've established the marketing problem here. Now, after that, a lot of artists who realize that they need to do marketing, just don't do enough marketing. And I think the big problem with this, what I have found is most artists and photographers don't really know how much traffic they need or how much you know incoming they need. They look at their website, they might look at their analytics um, and they see like 50 visits a month or a hundred visits a month. And they're like, wow, I've got traffic and I need, you know, uh, I gotta be tweaking my website now in order to get sales, okay. This is very important, all right? Conversion rates. A good conversion rate, according to Google, is 1%. Okay, so if you're getting uh, um, 100 unique visitors to your website every month, you will get one sale. One sale, okay? So go look at your stats right now for the last 30 days, all right? And look at how much traffic you got, all right? So I'm going to guess that it's not enough. And that is the big thing that I see is that if you don't have a thousand visits a month, you have, there is nothing you need to be doing except working on getting traffic, you know, generating ideas, figuring out everything you can to get, you know, customers in the door, to get emails on your email list and all of that. All you need to be doing is focus on traffic, probably for the next five years. And, uh, and there's nothing else that you need to do. So it's really empowering. I don't want you to get down when you look at your traffic numbers. 
I want you to feel lucky and empowered that you're getting this information right now that somebody's telling you to stop focusing on anything else and just literally spend 100% of your mind share and your creativity when you're focusing on your business on marketing. What shows can I do? What am I missing? What restaurant owner can I talk to? What Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing can I do? What emails can I send out? What videos can I make? Anything like that, right? Um, and, uh, you know, for art storefronts customers, we have a ton of resources on all of this. So you'll probably want to look at the art sales funnel checklist. It's at the very beginning, um, focusing on traffic generation and, uh, and the types of signs you're looking for in terms of conversion rate to your email list. Anyways, um, so uh, let's see where we're at here. Okay, so now you know what you need to do, right? So think about all the things that you have been doing and that you've been spending your time on. Figure out what those distractions are and get them out of your way. Just realize sit, realize you need to sit down and you'll do this a lot. Sit down with like a yellow pad or if you use Evernote on your computer to take notes or whatever it is and generate ideas. Just think about what you can do to get out there. Talk to people. Talk to other successful artists and photographers and ask them, you know, like throw your ideas at them that, that you thought about. See if anybody else has done that and has had success with whatever ideas you have, right? You might get some good feedback and, you know, some other ideas. Um, and so that's, that's the only thing you need to do is you need to get out there. Um, and I, I don't want to say you need to get out there for the next 30 days. You need to get out there for the next three years. The next three years, this is all you should do is just marketing, marketing, marketing. Get better at it, better at it, better at it understand it better and invest in yourself because that's what's going to give you the return on your investment on your time, okay? Um, learning your strategies, learning what's gonna make you successful. So marketing, it's just the only thing that you really need to focus on. It's the only thing that matters outside of creating a great product, okay? Um, I hope this helps and I hope that you know this changes your mindset and you just, from here forward, for a long time, the marathon, you're just focused on marketing and you realize that it's the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter if you have 10 websites and you switch websites once a year, you can't run away from this problem. It's going to follow you everywhere you go.